Hi guys, welcome to, um, it's kind of going to be a show-off video I believe, maybe a let's play, I'm not sure exactly, but guessing more of a show-off. So welcome to Cube World. Um, this is my stream character, so we're going to create a new character as this is going to be a let's play. That was a ranger, so I'm going to try a mage now, so let me just spin this guy around. And I'm just going to look away and we're going to step on that uh, goblin. Right, now I have an undead mage with bl those blue eyes. What's the female? So I get a hair. Right, we'll be male and we'll have... Actually, I quite like that. Haircut. Wait, that's going to be perfect actually, because I'm going to make a cold mage, so that would look like shards of ice, and that's why I've got blue eyes. So, yeah. Well, that was very quick. Um, I suppose I could, actually you kind of probably saw them as I was flicking through the different types. They don't do anything, it's just for looks really, and the different classes have different skills, but... Um, again, that's my, yep, as it says, stream world, so seed must be a number. So the time is now 8.15 p.m. So, and as I just looked then it was 12 seconds, so let's play and create the world. As this world creates, oh here we go. So yeah, this blueness will eventually disappear as the world loads in. Um. Yeah, this is the mage. Oh wow, that's my right click. I didn't realize that was my left click ability. But yeah, as you can see, the map around me is loading in. It's a gorgeous game world, to be honest. I'll just zoom out well. And what you want to do is basically this game isn't like Minecraft. Um, well, even though a lot of people compare the two. It's not. You can't even mine blocks as such. You can bomb them, but it's more of just an action RPG in a 3D world what's just got a block style, if anything. It's a really good game. Um, but yeah, you'll kind of see as you go along. So, that what I was just doing then was gathering resources. Resources can be used for crafting and... Yeah, ooh, our first enemy is a cat and that's animal cruelty already in this video there we go that actually dropped an item which is pretty rare but yeah there's like a lot of stuff in the world you can resource collect there's a lot of enemies also in the world um, actually you know what there we go what mage so we're now a water mage. And water heals us. Our MP on this character slow regens over time. My heal isn't that powerful at the minute. Oh, I could have just slept on this bed. This is a random camp. There's a lot of NPCs, as you will kind of see in the world. What's this? It's a hornet, isn't it? It's bumpy, it's red, which means it's not going to be worth the trouble, really, to kill it. A river down here. But look at the world, it's just a, it's a gorgeous place. Like, I could climb up there if I wanted. I probably might, actually. Let's head over there. You don't build a house or anything. There is a town on the map, if you press M. Oh, the town's actually up that way. In fact, yeah, let's head up this way, actually. We're towards the town. But yeah, you've got this gorgeously infinite, like, generating world. Cows. These are very good experience. Um, I'm trying to think here what's... Yeah, I did quite a lot of damage to him. See, now, if I stand here, am I going to heal myself whilst damaging the cow? I am. So a lot of people said, what, mages are OP? I haven't really played one before, so... 
If you see at the bottom where it says number of hits, um, basically the more hits you do, the more like armor and magic resistance you penetrate. As you can see though, neither of those, um, this is going to probably get annoying actually, but neither of those cows dropped an item just while we quickly heal back up. In fact, I'm going to use the big one, that's what she said. I heal so five hit points, kind of five. But anyway, if you look at the top left, we've got an experience meter with 13 out of 50 to our next level. So it's really just kind of like going around the world, farming mobs, um, picking up items, destroying and collecting resources. Where was that body? Oh shit, there's two of them. Three of them. I'm not going to use... There we go. Yeah, they were like onion creatures. Those onion bits they dropped are just literally ingredients for other recipes. In fact, I might as well just keep using this. I'll just let my mana regen and then use this as and when needed. We're not going to fight that guy. Yeah, you can imagine the outcome of that. Let's just say it wouldn't end well for me. This is a resurrection statue. When you die, you resurrect to the second, not the nearest, but you resurrect to the second um, nearest one. These drop wood logs, which we can refine into proper wood. Well, we can do that when we get to a town. There's some um, shenanigans going off here, yep. I probably could kill them, but I'm not sure how difficult it would be. But you know what, I'm going to stand next to this tree while I do this. Might as well heal and kill a tree. But they drop spider webs. Again, just another crafting resource. We've got bracelets, we've got a wand. Um Yeah. We've not got any pet food yet, which I'll cover when we get to it, don't worry. Well, I'm there, so we've got to go across this river. I could have gone to the path, but it's more fun to explore. If you hold control, um, you can climb, which is pretty cool. Because it pretty much means there's not really many places out of bounds. So you just climb up it. It does use your stamina. Not to speaking out of bounds, those trees I do think are out of bounds. Is that a crow? It's orange. Meaning we could kill it, but it's probably going to give us a difficult time. I can hear something chasing me. I can hear like footsteps. Well, let's try and kill this crow, shall we? Holy crap, that crow. That crow just got destroyed. And we're fully healed again. Didn't drop anything though, that crow, sadly. Destroy the bush. It dropped a plant fibre which we can refine into like a cotton sort of material. Those heart flowers are picking up when you combine them with some water in a glass. It creates a health potion. We've only got five at the minute, but that's just that's enough to get us to town. There's another bush here. And another heart flower. Just dropped several plant fibers as you can see at the bottom left it does tell you what I'm picking up also you don't have to jump up blocks on this one high blocks you can just literally walk up like so this is a house 
Because, yeah, we're actually at the town now. There's an inn here. Can I kill these sheep? Are the clusters in the town? Yeah, the clusters in the town, so. Just end up healing them instead, which is not that useful. Right. Hello, sheepy. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the merchant district. I don't know where it is. Like I said, every world's different. Um, if you want to play along with this seed, then you can. Over here, I'd show us have a look at these guys. That's a dodge, by the way. Middle mouse by default. You can double jump as well if you jump and roll together. <laughs> Shit, these are buddies. You know what? I'm gonna run. And do I heal? Yeah, I'm gonna drink a healing pot. Right, that's one healed. Holy shit, boomerang to the face and we're dead already. Yep, in this game you do die quite a lot. Like I said, you arrive at the second nearest thing, which is actually in the adventure district, which isn't too bad, but let's just have a look where it's put us. So the pet district's there. Yeah, we need to go sort of this way. I want to explore the city a little more. But yeah, as I was saying about the double jump little glitch, if you jump and dodge, you do like a flip like that, and then you can jump again in midair. See? It's kind of useful because you can get up stuff like that which you wouldn't normally be able to get up. So, as you can see here, this where the name Jenny is. Any friendly NPCs you meet in the field will have blue, sort of just there. They will have a name, basically. Crafting district. We didn't really get that much, but I guess I could show crafting off. Right, I've got to find... It's awkward that this friggin' city's built on a slope. So there's like a shears place there. Wait, trade districts down here. So yeah, the top right you can see on the minimap that it does kind of show you where the places are. So here we have the saw. Which lets you turn, like for example here it says requires furnace, requires a spinning wheel. With a saw it lets you convert wooden logs into wooden cubes. Now you do have a chance to crit, kind of, on certain crafting recipes. Um, on that one we didn't, but we'll try again on this one. Now where's the spinning wheel? There you are. So we can convert these. Let's see if we get a crit. You hear like a ting. There you go. If you saw we got two silk yarn from that. And we didn't get any gold or anything either. So Right, I need to now go to the trading district, which is straight ahead. No, this is the blacksmith. Here's the furnace and other such if we had um yeah like metal ores or whatever we could use them but at the minute we don't so yep yeah, that's out of the question right um apparently let's have a look according to the minimap there's a potion shop just down here all shops have a little sign above them like there and yeah. Oh crap, I can't buy. F Have I got anything I could sell? Ugh. Well, you know what, we'll just keep those glass flasks for now, like that. So, now, because we can't really do much, we've not got that much money, we've just literally got to sort of wander off. Um, where are we with there? So, 
We'll wander up here, we'll see if there's any caves up here so we can get some, like, metal ores. But yeah, this game is still in alpha. Um, so I expect, sort of, I don't know, quite a lot from it. Ooh. I see, I'm not even sure if ores can spawn on these paths. If you press F, you get a flashlight, which is very useful in dark areas. Um, however, mobs do spawn anywhere. Kill this guy quite easily, I believe. Yeah, we've even stunned him with our special attack. So, 30 more copper coins. Is that going to heal it, or is it going to attack it? No, it's not, not going to do anything to it. Right, so this is the wall we were looking at before. Holy crud. This is a very, very steep mountain. I wonder if this is the mountain we saw back there. You can just jump up here. Kind of takes a while. Whoa. But yeah, like I said, anywhere you see in this game, you can pretty much get there. It's like, just look at the world. It's just gorgeous. It's usually a lot less blue. But I think that is just due to the fact I'm recording it's having a hard time loading the new areas as quickly as we're entering them. So there's a camp here. We've not got anything I can really... I can hear combat. There is friendly NPCs in the world, as I said. Oh, it's here where the combat's happening. Shit. A raccoon is just literally, yeah number those people up. Wait, can I climb up there? Yeah, I can. I just want to see if they dropped any loot. I'm too scared to fight the raccoon. So I'm going to head over to those and animals, because I think they're sheep. I can't tell if that bird whistling's real life or this game. Ooh, actually I've got an idea. I need to see if these are if these are friendly. We could kill that raccoon. Yeah, they are. Right, which way are they heading? Right, they're heading that way. No, they're heading back. Right, let's go. Where's that raccoon? Stupid raccoon! Right, we've got aggro with the raccoon. It will now chase us. Guess what? Surely, four of us. Because they've got names over the head, they're friendly. I'm gonna climb up here. Dudes, we've got a raccoon behind us. Don't just look at me like that. Where's the raccoon? No, you don't, Mr. Raccoon. And here we go. World War Three has broken out. Yeah, the raccoon's killed one of them already. I've done too much damage, so I've got aggro. That's pretty good, though, because I can just sort of kite him. I can kite him as they do damage. But yeah, you saw how fast he killed one of their guys. I'm going to cast... There we go. 11 XP. And... They're just going to heal up. They have lost one of them, like, one of the f allies, but they don't care. No one really liked him. You know the sort. Bunnies! See, like, these bunnies are not too bad at all. Hence why they're white blue. Actually, there's two of these are orange. This may be not such a good idea. Well, luckily they've not got much hit points, I guess, but... Yeah, it's them dead. How much MP do I need for that skill? 30. Right. Yeah, forget aggroing those. Even with the help of my new best friends. I think we'd have got our ass kicked then. Ooh, a heart flower I missed. I just saw Papa put the bottom right. See? We're all getting plant fibers from those. 
bumblebee. Bees don't like water. I'm trying to... C come on. Stop pushing me, you stupid bee. We've got... Wow, really? Right, you see the power 24? That is kind of like your character's level. It's not exactly... I forgot the key. It is... No. Oh, it's B, isn't it? Yeah, it's bag. Right. We've got power of 1 at the minute. Because yeah, we're still level 1. But this power meter determines what items you can wear. That's power 24. Um, if you have fair enough on the first level, you do go to 10. I think it's sort of 10, 14. I don't know if it's set or not either, but... Yeah, I just killed a sheep because it's a very... Easy mob to kill. Especially when it runs into a stun. There we go. In fact, we were healing ourselves as well. Might as well continue with 30. 30 MP is not bad for a heal. Especially when it recovers so fast. I can't see any caves. I did see another sheep up there. See, there we go, wood log, plant fibres. Let's just have a wander up here. Oh, cows. They're so good for XP. They do, however, push you all over. Oh shit, I've got two of them on me. I should be able to kill them both. Yeah. There we go. Sorry if that deafened you guys. I should have had a little warning or something. Why the heck is that go away, you stupid fly in my bedroom? So yeah, because we're leveled anyway, we can go into here and... Here in stream. You can cast a stream of magic. Oh wow, we've got a natural flat heal as well. But we haven't got a pet yet. Um, swimming enables faster swimming. Climbing lets you climb more effective on steep walls. That gives your pets a HP boost. And yeah. That's just like a flat heal, apparently. So let's try it out, shall we? With that key. Wow. That is ridiculous! Hmm. A very strong class. Ooh, there's a river here. I'm gonna go and fill those water bottles up. Ow, falling damage does exist. As you can see. One thing I like about this game is all the enemies have different attacks. It's pretty damn good for that. Got a lot of wooden logs there. We wow, it's a big jump. What's this little hole here? Are they friendly? That's a very weird little bit of generation. Well, gen... Are these friendly? No, they're not. I might take them, actually. I'm going to try and kill them. They're all clumping quite nicely, so... My thoughts are that... I can kill them quite easily because of that. Because I'm doing AoE. And then if I use my heal... Wow. Wolves! Yikes, the red as well. Um, I think... That, what was that? Artless Shoulders. It's under the equipment. It was that one. A ranger. A rogue. Ooh, we could wear those, actually. HP a bit. A bit of armor. A bit of resistance. More crit chance. Perfect. As you can see, you do have different spells. I'll show you the... See, this is a wand. And then you've got... Like that. Um, you can also have bracelets. Left and right bracelet. Which... Kind of do that. But I prefer the staff, I think. Yeah, I'm leaving those wolves. Leaving... Ooh, ginseng. That's just an ingredient, but again, it's just the same 
generic format of um, just yeah destroy them and pick the resources up here you won't ever get a crit like despite being in the crafting menu but I'm just gonna fill these water flasks up then if we can yeah we can make a life potion see we've got 13 of those and one of those so I'm gonna press tab in a second which if you look at my bar at the bottom where my skills are you see there's a slot called Q that's where you put your potions and wait do I just I wonder if it's just because I've got my crafting menu up it could be you know Um. really oh it's because I'm typing wow Scumbag J. But yeah, you can see there we've got 15 potions. That was dumb. Ignore that. So we're just going to obliterate that tree. But yeah, actually, let me just quickly show you the power level. Oh, I'm only a power of 5 apparently. So maybe each level goes up by 5 at the minute. But yeah, the power level drops off. Um, and the game always sort of has relevant content for your level. It's kind of clever how it does that, it's like area scale with based on how strong you are. So you never sort of run out of stuff to do. Cotton plant. It's one of, again, it's one of those destroy the things and you get cotton balls. Yeah, hello there, big stupid scary ball. Hello lizard man. I'm going to just run forward towards this guy then I can heal myself whilst killing him. He's drinking a potion. And we killed him and just dropped some copper coins. Nothing too special, but... Well, it all helps. Whoa. Never mind me, Mr. Ogre. You just ignore me. One character as well can go to different worlds. So I could use this character in a different world seed if I so choose to. They're so dead. I want to see if I can roll... Nope, I can't roll jump that. I can climb up back there. See, we've got a staff here. I can hear fighting, we've got two staffs. We'll pick them both up and we'll check them in a sec. Where's this fighting? Well, wherever it is, wherever it is, is died now. Um, let's get my light out. I'm going to enter this cave. Caves are very good for... Hello, Duckbill. What? Really? I eh, don't know, I guess it's glitched. It's not. I don't think they're immune to water or anything like that, but... Could be wrong. Hmm. Nope, nothing here. Nothing there either. There's a cotton pot, uh, scrub here. What was up there? The animals in the wild you can attack. So, hello, cute doggy. dropped a sword. Speaking of swords, we need to have a look at that staff we picked up. So, 8 damage. It's got a bit of tempo, which I believe is attack speed, but less crit. That's got less crit, less HP. So, yeah, actually, those are kind of rubbish. But, eh, that's a good thing. At least we've got a choice. Hello, bats. Double kill. Yeah, you can get very, very quickly swarmed in these caves because it's so dark. But if we take our time, we'll be fine.
Oh, there's a witch. I don't know what it was fighting, but... Oh, a bunny. And hello, other bunny. Just kill both of you two together, why not? Drop me a level... Well, power 14 sword. Not that useful. Oh. Aww, there's another little sheep there stuck. Well, time to kill it. Really? Here I am saying great things about this game and there's like this bug after bug. It's alpha, whatever. This horn, it could hurt. Twenty-nine. It critted me for that much. Whoa! Wow! 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 Very nice. I have very much alike. Power thirty-two iron mace. That's a formula for it. So it's like the crafting recipe for it. it doesn't mean we can use it, but well, it. Well, actually, we can't use it, but. It means we have to craft it, it's not like it's just going to be spoon fed to us. But usually those are the better items anyway, whoops. A witch, let's do a witch voice. Hello guys! <laughs> oh, creepy old sod she is. Ooh, is that? Don't tell me that's the town. How on earth did we loop all the way back round to the town? I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Well, yeah, apparently we somehow have. So, maybe that's a sign that I should say, right, this is Cube World, go buy it. It's got multiplayer, it's a great game. Um. Ooh, pineapples. Let's go red some pineapples. Let's go red some pineapples. Let's go red some pine. Ow. You can only have 50 of one item as well, but... Yeah, you can turn these into pineapple slices. Which just recover HP. Not that I really need recover HP recovery items with this super like mana thing. Holy crap, that's just nice. That actually made me jump a little. But yeah, you can also fill your potions up there if you want to. Sneak a little double jump there. Let's head off in this direction. You can sometimes get like a little quest. In fact, let's try and get a quest before we go. So I need to head back into the city. Does we get any pet food? No, so we can't tame any pets. Might as well get this flower as well while well, we're here. But yeah, an inn, I'll show you actually, because where's the sun? I don't even know where the sun is, to be honest. I can't see it in the sky. But anyway, the inn, if you have a look. Well, if we look at the clouds, it's hard to explain where the sun's coming from based on... Oh, it's there. So it's kind of midday-ish, right? If you go to the inn, not only do you get to be deafened, turn your volume down now, but the innkeeper... So loud. Sets the time to 7am. So, I'm not sure where the sun is. It might be rising behind those mountains. So the adventure district. Wait, if I zoom in, does it show me? Yeah, it's the nearest one to us as well, so that's perfect. I'll see if we can find a quest. I'll not be able to do it yet, I'm too underleveled, but... Yeah. 
But yeah, I'll just have this as a little like sort of show up video. It's just going to be this one part. I've kind of briefly covered the game. You guys will have to play it yourself for the dungeons. It's $20, 15 euros. Um, yeah, it still is an alpha, but I'll put a link below and if you want, you guys can check it out yourselves. There's a wiki, there's a ton of information that's already out for the game. Class trainer to let you change. Say if I wanted to, he's obviously a ranger because he's got a bow on his back. Um, let's try this big tower. I forgot what's in here actually. I love travelling from... Ah. Oh. Yeah, if you do a mission you get platinum coins. If you kill a boss in a dungeon, that's the only way to get them. But... Um, yeah, it looks like they will trade them or something. So I'm trying to find... Where is the adventure district? It's to my right. There's nothing in here to the right. It's just grass. What a wild adventure indeed. Well, there's some things here. These are just more class trainers. Hello, mage. I like your name. I'm sending me to heal you, but... Yeah, if I was to stand here, um, going to my skills menu, I could literally learn to respec. Usually it would, wouldn't let you do this, but because I'm near a guy, it will let me, but I don't want to. I don't want to... That's the range one. No, sorry, the warrior one, but I don't know where the other one is. It's got to be around here somewhere. What do you have to say? You are looking strange. Well, screw you, ignorant. Nope, nothing in here. So, yeah, that's... This has been Cube World, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and I'm just going to go wander off now and kill some stuff. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And, yeah, if you have, be sure to check this great little game out. That's actually a boss thing. Maybe I'll go show you guys that boss. Yeah, let's head that way. Right, and then the video is getting ended. Oof, you guys are spoilt. You guys shouldn't have seen this. I'll not be able to kill him. I'll just maybe go inside and see how far I can get. Ninja flip up the stairs. That's how you get upstairs. Flip up them. Not flip down them. Flip up them. Blue flower look kind of weird there. Actually, let's just go to the crafting district. We'll get some more crafting done. I've not got any metal, so I can't make any. Um, anvil. Have I got any metal? I don't think I did, did I? And just got wooden blocks. No, I need the other one. This one. I need the spinning wheel for the silk yarn. Well, I got one extra out of that. Now, where was the wood place? Zoom in on the map. The wood place is straight ahead. Actually, that's nice. And they're all in a line on this particular seed. Right, come on. Crit. 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 Aw. Oh, crit. Aw. Oh, crit. Aw. Oh. Can there anything else I can craft? No. Right, am I... Heading the right way? No, I'm not. Which way do I need to head? I need to head east. Wow, two heart flowers right on top of each other. Crazy. I don't even need potions. I guess I could make them and sell them, perhaps. I don't know how much gold they'll make. I suppose the one hurt if I'm ever running and can't who I'd like to. Hello cats, you like water, don't you? Oh yeah. I forgot you down. Oh poor cat. Three XP.
I need to kill more cats. Shut up, I'm kidding. My guy sounds like a horse when he runs. Wow, they've got to be red. I haven't even ever seen those before. A lemon beetle. Actually, I have seen them. But yeah, orange and red, forget that. Orange and red means you're more than likely dead. Hello, bumblebee. Holy crap, this guy has a lot, and I mean a lot of health. But see, because I've got like a 50 hit combo, I'm doing a lot more damage to him. A rogue item. Why couldn't that be a mage item? Let's just quickly heal. Convert the rest of my mana to health. I wish you could transfer stuff between characters. At the minute you can't, but... I don't think it'd be too hard for them to implement some sort of... Um, like stash system. What are you? What colour are you? Not racist. Shut up. Jeez, you nasty. Beat the shit out of me. But here we see a campfire which allows us to craft food. Um, yeah, we could just climb up, but I'm gonna try and double flip. There we go. Craft fire. Yeah, craft fire. Yeah, whatever. Oh, examine the fire. See? And you get to the food menu. So, with ginseng, you make some soup. You can't crit with these either, I don't think. And you can also make some pineapple slices, which is going to take quite a while. So, I will try and think of something entertaining to say, but... Yeah, my level 4 mage is the first I've got, so I've not played it that much. But then again, I've only played it on stream. This is the first time off stream I'm playing it. Um, but yeah, you definitely should check it out. There's a lot of replayability. I haven't seen many people like do a Let's Plays where they're just on their own. I wish they had. You know, it's kind of something I'd want to see, but... Oh well, we've only got 10 more to do anyway now. And I'll just very quickly show you where they go. But yeah, like any health item, see, it gives plus 200 HP, plus 200 HP. That only gives plus 100, but we've got 50 of them, so... Depending on what we need, I'm just going to have the pineapple slices for now, I think. So yeah, let's continue east. What are you? You're a cat. Are you? No, you're a terrier. Three XP. Very nice. We're almost halfway through our level again. I'm not even going to attempt to kill that guy. Maybe if there's four friends nearby, I might, but no, there isn't. I love the world gen in this game. It is rather just like, you could just literally sort of stop and stare and look at it. What are you? Hello, dwarf. I can't even see you there, I just had to kind of guess where it would be. Oh, you're a mage as well, are you? Right, well, looks like water. Put your flame out. Pet food, salted caramel, and we've got some silk boots. So, let me equip the boots and the pet food. It doesn't say what that's for. Salted caramel, I forgot, to be honest. I could have a look. Um, but I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that off camera. It'd be nice if I could tame a pet, actually. I sh now, see, this is where it would have been ideal to sort of have that pet, because... Yeah, I could have literally sort of... I'm trying to check on my phone whilst trying to still play. But, yeah, I kind of want to know... Ooh, a horse. I know it's not a horse. They have ha apples. Um, Into a search. 
salted caramel cube world search doesn't help that my internet's fucking broke today either so I'm having to use my... are they friendly or are they furs? I'm gonna try and take them on oh they're friendly is there anything I can lure into these guys and make them kill it for me Well, there's this horse, but I think I can kill this by myself. Yeah, wow, this poor horse didn't stand a chance. Who's calling it now? That's probably the animal I needed. What? Apparently I tame a seagull with it. I've never seen a seagull before, so... Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I've never had a seagull. I've never even seen one, so... Where's the map? Right, I need to head slightly that away. It's a good job we did head this way because there's a bush. This could be biting off more than I can chew. And that's no pun intended with the lemon, but. Twenty-eight crit, mental. There we go. Super heal. Done. No problem. I'm guessing seagulls are like in a desert biome or something. I did see a bat in here somewhere. There it is. Two of those. Yeah. See, we're getting a little more powerful now. Ooh. Finally, some iron. You're joking. Oh, there we go. Oh, I only dropped one block. I could get a crit with it, but... No, I can't hit that one. I could do with a bomb to blow it up, but... We don't have any bombs at the minute, and I didn't buy any. Hello, witches. Which way do the other two witches go, huh? Oh, forget it. Where is that place? Yeah, it is straight ahead this way. Oh, that's it. It's that big tree. I can already tell. Yeah, see, now the bottom of the tree is alright. As you get further up, there's a big boss up there. We'll have one attempt at it. Fifty one XP, we're halfway to our next level. Got a respawn point there, which I'm guessing is might be the one we use. But yeah, let's just have a quick look at the crafting menu anyway. If so if I want to craft a weapon, I need anvil, wow, I need metal for that. But there, see, 16 wood cube, we can make a new staff. Well, it's a wand, actually, which is pretty crap, but... As we level up, we unlock new recipes naturally. Um, or we can find them, like that blueprint we found earlier for that, like, level 34 item, which was just ridiculously good. I can see a scrub over there, but I'm not even going to bother getting it. I just want to get to this big tree. Look at it. It's huge. Are you friendly? No, you're not. Ambush! Don't you water me. I'll water you back. Ooh! A blueprint. For a rug. A rug chest armor. Fuck me, that scared me. Defeat the ruler of the thistle tree. So the ruler is actually right up there. There is usual enemies around the bottom of the tree. Fly. I wanted a seagull, not a fly. Get out of here. Mo and a biter. Holy 
wrap these guys out. Yeah, we're just getting absolute mauled here. I'm trying to think, there wasn't any friendly animal. Um, yeah, friendly guys around here at all, was there? Hopefully, if I just keep kiting back. Oh, he's dead. No, 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 no. No! We charged up a super attack, and because I didn't have my. Thanks, fucking game. You know what? Put. Oops. Life potion. But yeah, you don't lose anything for dying, so it's not too bad, I guess. Are you friendlies? No, you're not. See, these spike creatures aren't friendly. Check out that guy first. He dropped a power 5 boomerang. I can see the big tree on the map because it stands out like a sore thumb. So let's head back over there, shall we? I definitely want to do better than that last attempt out of that tree. Let's try and at least fight the boss. But you know what, let's just do a super heal. There we go. Don't use all my mana. I didn't need that much healing. Right, let me press F, get my flashlight back out. The enemies do respawn eventually. Where are you? Die, Ox! Drop coins, coins, and more coins. And super heal. There we go. Perfect. See, now I'm not sure the proper way up these trees. I've always kind of just, like, climbed them weirdly. Like, for example, you could sort of climb up the tree like that. See, I'm not sure if this is the proper way or not, but it's kind of the way I've always got up. And I've got a bit more climbing to do. Are you the guardian? That's where you are. So there's the boss. So let's get this battle under bird. So I missed him with every friggin' shot. And now I've got to navigate down a very, very fucking narrow tree. And I'm going to pull him over here, because I know it's clear over here. So, hello, boss guy. <sighs> so he's a water mage as well. There's a biter there, but I'm going to try and avoid it. It's really mainly then, I guess. Yeah, that attack I need to watch out for. Definitely those big fireballs. So if I use two of those... You know what? Just use the rest of my mana for that. No! You bastard! Right, well, yep, yeah, forget it. He looks like Adolf Hitler as well. And on that note, I'm going to call this a video. If you enjoyed Cube World, go buy it. I have links in the description. It's an awesome game. You'll be missing out if you don't. Thanks for watching. See you next time.